Welcome to Conversation with H. Um, and we have one of the greatest of all time in regards to gospel music in the UK. Not just the Midlands or nothing like that. Talk about the UK greatest of all time. He's the owner of GR360. You get me, pioneer beyond his years. He's also the current captain of Clarendon FC. League champions and cup champions. Yeah, yeah. double. It's, double. It's, 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 double. It's just what you do, yeah, yeah, it's Super team. Thing, man. Yeah, I'm saying. There we go, born and bred. My Medium. brother, sir. Roger Ball. <laughs> Gash you up with the intro, you know. Gash. No, I, I, I'm going to turn, I turn red, you know, man. I'm going to say, not like I'm not red already, but like, yo, know, it's going to be this red thing going on, man. So I'm just like, you know, don't, don't listen to this guy, man. I'm just here to serve, man. I'm just like, dude, like, yeah, yeah don't listen to him, man. Yeah, I'm just doing the thing, guys. I'm just doing the thing. I'm so, Roger for those who don't really, who may not know much about you, tell, tell them a bit more about who Roger Moore is and like, what you do. What I do, um... If anything you see guys like in terms of like, you know, like GL360, GL, mm. anything in the past, Gospel Link magazine, um, going back even further, Gospel for Use, Divine Intervention, any sort of, you know, projects like that, my, my wife Dean Moore, um, tours and um, gospel projects I've been, mm. been involved with from back then. My, um, my roots go even back before that in terms of, you know, um, from the age of about 16, started um, sampling and mm. messing about with Atari STs and, and Commodore Amigas, and um, and kind of wanted to do something unconventional compared to some of the musicians at the time. Yeah. Obviously, everyone was just live music, so I was dumped with a bass guitar by my dad, no. and I was like, what am I meant to do with this? And, I, and guys, I never want, I weren't a part of the music fraternity, I weren't like interested. That, that. Yeah, I, mean, you know, I, 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 weren't, I hated concerts. <laughs> I absolutely hated con concerts were only good to go and get ginger beer and patty, you know what I'm saying? And Gazada and some and black and green. There's, okay. a, there's a black you know what I mean? I'm going back going back in the day, but the only choice was ginger beer. Fry with ginger beer with a koi patty, that was the options you had, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And then you had a uh, mother so and so make up some homemade ginger beer if you yeah. want to mash it before you know what I mean? So uh so concerts weren't nothing it was I was a football man from yeah, the start, yeah. you know, and um and but I started to get involved with things uh, from the age of 16, but I'm currently now um, operations manager and visionary, as you would see for GR360 Media. Mm. And my, my heart and desire is to really uh, be part, of, just utilize creativity positively. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and yeah, you could argue and say to lead people to Christ, but the main thing is for me to, um, to kind of like, you know, um, show quality and um, Christianity together. Mm. And I think um, in the urban field, because it's not being put in front of people, I feel like people just don't have a clue of what the quality of music we have yeah, yeah, in yeah. our circles and what's inside of them as well. Mm. And that's, that's just me. And I'm, I'm a Birmingham bias, so I want our talent to stand up, man. You know what I mean? So You want everyone to just, come on, man, Birmingham, what's going on, man? Like, what's... But we'll get on to that a little yeah, bit we'll, later. We'll, do we'll that. definitely get on to that. Um, so, when did you get saved and why did you get saved? Oh, when did you okay. become a Christian? Right. Okay, and cool. why did you become a Christian? Um, I got saved when I by the age of uh, 13. That's going to be about 30 years ago, yeah? And um, I saw, sorry guys, I gave away my age. Um, <laughs> and, um, and it was, you know, the, the camp scenario. Yeah, yeah. And um, unfortunately, um, um, we had a real, real talking guy and he just got a bonfire and that says, yo, how have I had this? And I thought, okay, cool. But then by the end of the week, you know, I had an unction to kind of like say, you know what? I, I don't really want to go to hell. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's the real. And people think, oh, you can't get to come to Christ for that. I just don't, I just don't want to go to hell. I believe there's a hell and I believe there's a heaven. Yeah, it's yeah. as simple as thing as, as that. And so I decided to give my life to Christ at the age of 13. I cleaned up my act as such. Mm. And then... Um, and didn't get baptized till I was 16, the weird thing was, uh, maybe it's just the environment of, of the church that I was at. Um, it wasn't really a great push to get baptized, um, just seeing as I was young. Yeah. And then um, when a pastor, not so much challenged me negatively, asked me two questions, says, yeah, of course I'm ready. And we got, uh, got baptized just after I finished school. Mm. And, um, and then going into college, you know, and that's where it hard, you know. And so in terms of my Christian work, you know, there's no turning back, no regrets, yeah. you know, and, um, and don't worry, you won't catch me in um, the back, back, back pages or, or, or front pages of any paper, man. <laughs> so don't Unless worry. Unless it's the voice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 for the right reasons. <laughs> so what kind of inspired you to do Gospel Link? Well, it's not even Gospel Link because it was Gospel for you. 
And obviously the first time yeah. I remember seeing you mm-hmm. like properly doing mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. was when it was like, was it Aston Community Centre? <laughs> Aston Community Centre, I was like seven. I was probably seven or I was like, I was young at the time. <laughs> I was young and the stage was like yeah. a little platform to yeah, 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 yeah. And then you just had bare people. I was like, yo, we got some music coming out of from like. Yeah, man, yeah, man. So what, so it's not even gospel link really. What made you go on this journey of, you know, music and trying to push gospel music in, especially from a Midlands point of view, but UK wide. Okay, no, that, that's, that's, a, that's a good point. Um, what, what was my passion for it? Um, mm. First of all, you know, I just want to um, kind of like, if we look at the fact that basically that, you know, I would say definitely God, God spoke to me, you know, about not so much urban gospel whatsoever, but, you know, just like, um, there was a time when I was about, I just met my wife, I was about 19 at the time, and, um, and went to Jamaica and, and, and just, just ended up turning up at sort of prayer meeting somewhere, you know. <laughs> in Jamaica. Uh, in, in Jamaica. Just in, 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 you know, say, on a Wednesday, just went to his prayer meeting, small little church, and um, and the guy spoke of my life, you know, and, and I believe when I came back, you know, God was speaking to me about it turn, cause in terms of music. Yeah. Bear in mind, I was a football guy, and yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. God, for real, I'm not really into the music like that. And he just, old oh, doors started to open. Now, why I kind of do it, now, I came from a, cult, uh, a generation that all left church, and, and that's been realistic. Um, guys, um, if you go to a lot of churches in the Caribbean, the churches, my generation is not there. Yeah. We're not there because um, the church never even tried to relate to us musically. Mm. Um, we came from a perspective of like um, sampling, hip hop, uh, drum and bass. Um, you know, we was going into some new stuff, so you like some Goldie, uh, Prodigy, you know, mm. I grew up in, 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 a, in a predominantly white area. Yeah, so yeah. you've got things like, um, you know, um, Jimmy Acquires, a major influence, you know, yeah. Acid Jazz, Ecognito. So you've got all these different all styles. The, all the vibes, yeah, yeah. vibes, And you go to church and it's just not represented. No, no. So it's like, you know what, yeah, we are not, our, our expression was not expressed in church, mm. hence why people was going outside to get there. So I'm going, why can't we do this for Christ? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So straight away, man, I was on it, man, from, from especially my wife, you know, we did a drum and bass track. And from then on, I was always about being relatable music. Yeah. And it's not about me being an old footy duddy and doing what, what happened to me, to mm. the youngsters. It's going, utilizing their sound, what they have, mm. and giving them opportunities. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what a passion. In terms of Birmingham wise, I mean, Birmingham, and, and we're in the world of internet, and people know me around the world, so why can't we just do our things from here and be based here? Mm. It's it's um, mortgage is less than being in London, so you know it's all good. <laughs> um, so that's your passion. Mm. You start off doing gospel for you, gospel, mm. GL, mm. GL three hundred and sixty. You put out the gospel yeah. magazines yeah. and all these kind of things. Mm. When was your first kind of either bad event or? Something didn't go. Doesn't go wrong. Didn't go. Yeah, it didn't go just right. went the first time. No. When the first time do you remember it? Yo, maybe the same. Okay, first of all, that's a good point. Um, I've. Okay, I already understood what success is. Right? Yeah. So success was not really about the numbers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So in terms of, a, I've I've done events. Um, um, times when I when I got to stage of. Of like, forget this, you know, is more times when you almost get mistreated by the people that you're so into. Got yeah, yeah. That's when I felt it, felt it the most. Got Not yeah. when I see five people at the show yeah. because I'm calm with two people being blessed. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. So I, you know, as much as I'm going, oh god, this is a headache, man. I'm gonna deal with this and whatever. Yeah. But whichever way, um, I'm cool with that. I think the biggest hard time is when you, uh, you know, you deal with. Um, um, it's predominantly artists obviously I work with whatever um, it's when they turn around and turn what you give to them mm. and literally throw it back into your face yeah, yeah, yeah? yeah. and when that first time ha- happened it's like um, one of the most significant times was when I was doing um, my, uh, one of my earlier GR lives and, I, and I, I was working with artists and I never forget this person says that uh, you know um, and I'll be true okay I'm going to be real with you guys about mm. it it's like they said to me as a Christian, I'm praying for you. But as a promoter, I'm here to wreck you. So That's I'm, wild. You, you know what I'm saying? You know, so I was like, dude, like, so you separated your Christianity from your life. That's crazy. You know what I'm um, that's coming out of people's mouths. And then the joke is, the person hit me back up later on. 
go, yo, can I come back home? Yeah, yeah. And I said, yo, blood, what, so, so I don't get it. And they go, oh, I didn't say that. I'm thinking, yeah. And that would have stuck with it, you as well. It, bro, that stuck. I remember the space and I was rock. I was like, it hurt, bro. It yeah, hurt. Yeah, yeah. And then um, someone knocked my door. Um, shout out to uh, shout out to my boy Wayne. And I cut my door and he just sold something into my life, man. And he just he put a note next to it and he was like, duh, duh, duh. and I looked at that and I thought, you know what? God knows what that was about. Yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. And, it, and 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 so that's where it hurts the most for me, bro. When you're so into people, that's my first significant, I would say, so in that really hit yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, There's a couple which I kind of go, but that really hit me. That was the one that yeah, kind of said. Because you sacrifice everything to put these shows on. Yeah, and that's the thing. Yeah. And the thing is, when we, like, when I attend shows or when mm. I'm, like, even a part of the mm. shows that you put on, mm. I don't see the full extent of what goes into getting us to, getting you guys to this yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah, get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah, you yeah. feel the... The conversations, the the, the mm-hmm. cost, all these kind of all these kind of things. It's crazy, bro. Like that, you have to you speak to people, and we don't feel that yeah. as a as a consumer of what yeah. you're trying to give us. Um, so it's always good to hear that you know what you have to say and where you're coming from and what you're feeling. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah. yo, this is what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah. Everything might look all nice and dandy. You might see that artist singing. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, two yeah. hours ago when yeah. mics weren't working and we had no sound <laughs> checking, do you know what I mean, bro? Listen, man, it's like when you're dealing with, um, with everyone just... And this is what I would say, and I would openly say, it's like when I do shows, it's quite funny. When I develop young people, yeah. um, when I target, I try to get them to, to be involved with the whole event. So I get them to have, you do stage management this time, support the stage management, mm. no show for you, because I want them to understand that the people are there to serve. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the, and the problem is, is that artists tend to find... And it's not this guy, artists don't kill me off here. But, <laughs> You have to realise that people are there to serve you. And my dad always says, have manners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And some of them just do not have manners. That I've had young people in tears, you know what I'm saying? With big artists and so on. And that hurts mm. because I'm like this. I might as well do a Jay-Z gig and make some money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not here to make money with this show. Because gospel shows don't make much money, if any, anything at all. Um, so, um, so it's really there to serve and to bless people. Yeah, yeah. And, and when you are people not coming together and pulling together, we're all going this place, yeah, let's yeah. do it. So the bigger picture is sometimes, no, a lot of times not seen. Mm. Not seen at all, bro. So what, what continues to motivate you to push gospel music, especially okay. in the Midlands? In, in, in the Midlands. Okay, what motivates me is, is, it's weird, actually. It's like, you know, someone said to me the other day, said to me, um, said, okay, right, I'm gonna have a break. I said, okay, why is that? Because, you know, I'm filling up my jars empty. You know, when you give and you give and you give. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One technique I would advise everyone, before you give, where are you giving from? Mm. Because for me, if you give from the abundance of Christ, you'll never, ever stop giving. You'll never ever grow tired. That's good. Because you're not doing it in your own strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's so easy to give in your own strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when you, I always go refer to the 10 lepers. The 10 lepers are like this. Yo, ran off. All, all 10 apart from one mm. came back. So if that's what, if they're being healed from leprosy, only one man come back. Who am I to expect everybody to be bowing at my feet going, oh, Roger, thanks for this, thanks for that. You know, I, I try to try and even work out how much artists I've, supported over the years yeah I, I, I couldn't even try and count and it's not because i'm special but i give from the abundance of christ yeah, that's how yeah, i can yeah. still smile and that's how i still got no gray hairs you know what i mean that's how <laughs> people say he look youngy he's like, he look youngy because you know i have to give god the glory bro yeah, yeah, because yeah, like yeah. if i give it out to my flesh you're gonna run yeah, out bro i'm gonna be sick and tired of this from a long time you know and and i had to search myself the other day by it i'm going how come I can got it from the abundance of Christ, man? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I don't give because I'm giving from my bank. I'm giving because, man, it's bottomless because I'm coming through Christ, man. Mm. You know, people think, yeah, watch it. You sound like some neo-Nazi Christian. Sometimes back, uh, backstage, sometimes when I talk to people, they probably think, look, you don't drink, you don't do this, you don't do this. And I'm like, it's yeah. what it is, you know, and... Uh, you're weird. <laughs> yeah, it's mad. It, it, it's the way it goes, you know what I mean? And um, that's just me, bro. That's how, that's, how that's how I continue to do it. In terms of the Midlands, mm. um, 
I always say, as a Man United fan and as a, um, a born and bred Birmingham person, I have no. Man said, desire. Man United. Yeah, yeah, this didn't yeah, even make no yeah, sense. It's, it's, We're it's, talking about it's, the middle as a Man said, you know, as a Man United fan. It's, it's just a gra- <laughs> it, it's a gra- it helps me pull me back up north, yeah? It helps me pull me back north, this was, yeah? And um, I, 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 when I go to uh, London, it's straight up business. <laughs> so I never forget, you know, it, I could easily. I, uh, people, a lot of people thought I was based in London because yeah. the magazine was successful a lot of London artists I don't try and be biased against London yeah but I do feel that when me when my, my, when my wife Dee Moore we was doing music um, and um, she was touring in the early stages yeah. we felt like in Birmingham and not even just Birmingham outside the M25 we had no love bro yeah. no love whatsoever mm. you know what I'm saying and it's like hold on a second but and musicians, musicians would get love you know what I'm saying? Because they'd be playing for everyone down yeah, south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but we just found it was a very biased system. Mm. So I am not overly biased towards the Midlands, but I'm just passionate at creating a platform. Mm-hmm. And I've brought the skills that I've learned yeah. and done platforms with Birmingham Max. My problem is with Birmingham Max is that, West Midlands Max is that we don't, we're not stepping up our game. Mm. You know, we're just not stepping up. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, and we're very, Insular, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know, uh, <laughs> sorry guys, but <laughs> you know we were insular like this. Like, I'll be real, like, I've been around for like 20 odd years, 30 odd years. Yeah. When I came through, I leaned on people like uh, Birds for Dawkins. Mm. I got, I, got alert, alert. I went on to bigger productions, I learned my craft and whatever. They're still, you know, guys, I'm here, mm. so not nothing you're a holler yet. You know what I mean? Not holler. I'm available. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Not just because I'm special. Yeah. I've been around for a minute. You experience. know what I'm saying? You know, experience. Yeah, yeah. Why do you want to make my mistakes again? That's the question, Prof. Why do people always want to make the same mistakes? You know what I'm saying? You've got Cristiano Ronaldo there and you just he come in as an 18 year old. You think you're not going to ask him any questions? Yeah, 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 it's crazy. Or you're going to learn your skills yourself? He's going to laugh at you. And go, why? And that's, I think, Big Birmingham, we're trying to reinvent the world every single time. Mm. Let's come together. And people tend to burn out. So yeah. people will start, and it's like, oh, this person looks good. Yeah, 12 months later, uh, nothing. Nothing? Bro, because there's only about two churches. <laughs> they can do shows at. Let's be real. Like, yo, know, there's no way to, this Birmingham was small, you know? It, it was a, and the thing is, like I said, because of my national and mm. international platform, you, see? you know what I'm saying? I can start to push people a certain way. I can't push you a certain way if you don't talk. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So it's just like, guys, don't get gassed. And we had to show this, bro. Everyone can make a hit in yeah, their bedroom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the scene in two years' time, you know what I'm saying? When you when you get three free plays and you get two two dislikes, mm. you know what I'm saying? And you start feeling down, you need to be He's in that com- circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the truth. You know what I'm saying? And that's in that's in crucial. You know what I mean? Having that circle around you, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We pick lap dogs, man. You know what I'm saying? We pick people that's just gonna go, yes, master, yes, yes, you're brilliant and fantastic. <laughs> Don't have people like that around you. It's true. Have people that'll strengthen you. You know what I'm saying? That's key to my survival. Mm. Absolute key. Have people that don't care about the music, care about your you and your Christianity. That's the truth. So, Go. what advice would you give to you as Roger now? What advice yeah. would you give to younger Roger? Um, One piece of advice. I, okay, my biggest problem is, and I'm, it's kind of, I, I, I think I was just too nice and trusting at times. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. As much as I've seen that. No, no, exactly. This is why the seasons, you know, this is why you're a bit, a bit, it's true. this is why you're a bit of lamb. It's uh, true. This is why a big, uh, it's a mango and lime broth, that's yeah. all over me, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's just that sauce, man, you know what I mean? You know what I'm I don't want to be too jerky, get me so. I'm not quite a jerk, man, but I was just too, too nice and plain with tomato ketchup on the side, bro. You know yeah. what I mean? I have to move from that, bro. And just put some mango and like you know, put a peri peri sauce next to me. You know what I mean? Some peri. You know what I mean? You're saying, so that's see that's you know so that's so I'll say to me just to be a bit more spicy, a bit more a bit more astute. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's not less trusting. Just just just, just see what, what just see what, what, what's going on. You know, it's, it's yeah, see, yeah. I, I made and this is everyone's gonna make this mistake, you know. I watch a lot of war films, yeah, mm. and the guys who would just go and shift first and the first fresh the freshies, yeah, 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 yeah. they fall asleep on the front front line. Yeah, yeah. Them soldiers they sleep with a gun in their hand off the safety like this when the battle comes, they're ready. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, you know, um I did sleep a bit. Um and um, just on people because I said, Oh yeah, question, yeah, yeah, trust you man, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of people misuse my trust. Mm. You know, and that Fortunately, I got through that with good people around me. Yeah, but yeah. that weren't easy. 
You know what I'm saying? Because to get to that point. To, 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 to get over the hurt of trusting people. Really? Yeah. Bro, like, I will trust people, bro, like, like crazy. Like, you know, when, you know, you talk to... It's, this is the day, and I always say to people, it's not a case of being a mean person and being, ah, I don't like you, it's not about that. Mm. But it's about, you know what, just be on your game. Mm. The moment you let your guard down and you say your friend with his thing up, yeah. when you're a fan and you do promotions, do not do that. Don't be a fan. Be a promoter. Yeah, be, yeah. A, be a manager. The moment you become a fan, bro, it's finished. You know what I'm saying? Because you start to relax and chill. No, don't. Things have to come relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and we had to show is you dare to everyone's there to do a job Mm. and treat it as that. I hope I don't say that sound too militant. Nah, nah, uh, that's 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 um, good. That is. But because um, you know, I've had you know, I've worked with many artists in America and you know, and um what's scary is like you hear a story about yourself, which is not even true. Like, you know, I you know, one story was one artist came over here, again, not naming our artist, uh, <laughs> came over here and they said that I changed the PA to make them sound worse. So I came from my position up in the top corner of the whole stage, went to the, apparently went to the PA man, you know what I'm saying, and told him to make the PA worse and that's why they didn't sound as good. For your show? For one of my GRLs back in the back. So, so this artist said, yeah. for your show, Roger, yeah. you yeah. brought me over yeah. from America. Yeah. To make me sound worse at yeah. your show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah then okay. it's worse. Okay. Okay. So, okay. I, and, and <laughs> I never got asked by the manager until seven, eight months afterwards. So they harbored that up, and apparently, people that I was working with in the UK confirmed mm-hmm. that to them. So I'm thinking, hold on a second. Uh, so I said to them, wow. You know, and that was all. And I'm thinking, so I'm going, hold on a second. So everyone's been talking like this. All this time. So. I say, I, people think, why, why are you saying all this? I'm saying all this because the reality show is that you make sure you have a great team around you, mm. you know what I'm saying, you know, the great people, and don't let your guard down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what, if you do and you get licking your chin, come like Tyson Fury, you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, man, I mash up my, my poor body there. Um, the the auntie, like, 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 ends up like that. You know what I'm saying? Let the guard down, bro. It's you know true. what I'm saying? You, know, you let your guard down. It's you get thump in the face. And it's not to say that it's Christian world, it should operate like this. Mm. Sorry, it doesn't. Mm. Because there's flesh out there. Bro. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just me being real. You know what I mean? So you've got to be on it.